Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to talk about using an Amazon Fire Stick for beginners. In my previous video, I talked about using an Apple TV, so I figured a Fire Stick is another really good option for much less money. I have both and I use both on a regular basis and I definitely think there are pros and cons to each. So today, obviously, we're just going through some beginner things for the Fire Stick. I will leave a list in the description box of what I'll be talking about today along with timestamps if you're looking for something specific. So let's get started. First and foremost, if you don't know what a Fire Stick is, it is a streaming player. So basically it takes a normal TV and turns it into a smart TV. It plugs right into your TV and it contains all the streaming apps that you might be using these days like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, which can be a really good option if you are considering getting rid of cable. I did make a video about cutting the cable cord if you are interested in checking that out. I will leave that in the description box below. But the Fire Stick is definitely one of the most affordable options on the market right now as far as streaming players go, depending on which model you get. So the first thing I wanna talk about are the different models out there right now. There is the Fire Stick 4K for $49.99, the regular Fire Stick for $39.99, and the Fire Stick Lite for $29.99. The difference between the 4K and the other two, obviously, is that the 4K has 4K capabilities, so you will be getting a better picture with that model, which is why it's more expensive. But depending on the TV you have, you might not even notice the difference. So the other two more affordable options, you have the Fire Stick Regular, which is $39.99, and that one has all the buttons that you need to fully operate your TV and your Fire Stick. Whereas the Fire Stick Lite, does not have every button that you would need. It doesn't have a power button and it doesn't have a volume button. If you already have a Fire Stick Lite and you're frustrated that it can't operate your TV, I would recommend getting one of these. I bought this for $25 and it is a little pricey, but it works amazing. It has a power button, volume buttons, and it's nice to be able to control everything on one remote rather than having to look for my TV remote when I want to adjust the volume. But if you are still deciding which one to get, I would recommend the $39 option since it does already have those buttons built in. Okay, so now let's talk about setting it up right out of the box. So I'm gonna be showing you the Fire Stick TV Lite today, but they all come in a similar box, so I just wanted to go through what comes in the box. So obviously you have a remote, to control your Fire Stick, you have an HDMI extender cord, a power cord, the Fire Stick itself, and then you have a power adapter and two AAA batteries. So the first thing that I do is just put the batteries into the remote. And then the next step is connecting the power cable to your Fire Stick and to the power adapter. So the USB side will go into the power adapter. And the smaller side will go into the small port on the Fire Stick itself. And this can plug directly into your TV, but I would recommend using the HDMI extender that it comes with to improve your Wi-Fi signal and make it a little bit easier to plug into the back of your TV. So now that you have it all set up, you can go ahead and plug it into your TV and into the wall, and then you can turn on your Fire Stick to start getting it installed. To turn on the Fire Stick, you either just need to turn on your TV and click any of the buttons on the Fire Stick, or if you have the option that has a power button on it already, you just need to click the power button to turn it on. You also wanna make sure that your TV is on the input that you plugged your Fire Stick into. So if you plugged it into HDMI 1, make sure your TV is on HDMI 1. Once you turn your Fire Stick on, it's gonna take you through an installation process to get it all set up. So just follow the prompts that you see on the screen and it will likely do a software update and restart, which is totally normal. And then to turn the Fire Stick off, you just hold down the home button for a couple seconds and then scroll over to the option of putting your Fire Stick to sleep. You can also just turn off your TV or click the power button on your Fire Stick to turn it off, but I would recommend putting it to sleep since it can help with the longevity of your Fire Stick and keep it running faster for longer. Also, if you're running into any issues with your Fire Stick, you can obviously unplug it and plug it back in, or you can hold down the center button and the play pause button for a few seconds and your Fire Stick will reboot. Now, here's the home screen. 
This is the newest version of the home screen. So if you have an older Fire Stick or if you've watched an older video, then this is the home screen that you might see instead. But the one in today's video is the newest version. As you can see, anything highlighted and with a black bubble around it is where your remote currently is. And then you just use this circle to scroll around. It kind of looks like it would be one of those touch responsive circles where you just scroll around, but it actually operates like arrow buttons would. So you have over to the right, left, up, and down. And then you just click the middle of the circle, the center button, when you are ready to select something. The little house button will take you to the home screen. The back arrow will obviously take you back to the previous page you were on. And the button on the right here with the three lines is what you can use if you wanna move an app around, which I will show you how to do next. So on this top row of the home screen is where you can put your most used apps. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will also see your most recently used apps. But if you wanna change the apps you see right away on the home screen, you'll wanna scroll over to these three dots right here, click on them, and then this will show you all of the apps that you currently have downloaded on your Fire Stick. So let's say I wanna move Disney Plus next to Netflix. I'll scroll down to Disney Plus, click on the three lines, and here are your options. You can easily just click move to front and that will put it all the way at the front where Netflix currently is, or you can just select move. Now that it's selected in this gray outline, you can use the arrows to move it. And when you're happy with where it's located, you just click the center button. If you wanna download a new app, I'll show you how to do that next. So all you have to do is go back to your home screen and my recommendation is using the voice search method. I personally think it's easier. So let's test it out. Let's go with Discovery Plus. There it is. So let's click on the center button, click on the app and then click download. And if it's not giving you an option to download the app, that just means you already have it on your Fire Stick. So instead, it will just give you the option to open it instead. I'll also show you how to manually search just in case you aren't able to use your voice search function. So in order to do a manual search, you'll just scroll over to find, scroll down and select search. And this is where you will have to select letter by letter what you want to search for. So just scroll around using the circle to go to the letters that you want and click the center button to select the letters. And as you can see, it will start auto-populating some common searches. So once you see what you want, you can just start scrolling down and select whatever you want to search for. The other two options that you'll see here on the home screen are library and live. And library is anything you have downloaded from Amazon Prime or Prime Video. And live is just any live TV channels you might have. Those will pop up here. Finally, I wanna talk about navigating inside of an app. So let's use Netflix as an example like I did in my Apple TV video. So if you wanna open an app, you just scroll over to it and click on the center button. Now you can just navigate with the circle as you normally would and then select what you wanna watch. If you wanna put on subtitles, you'll wanna pause your show, click up and select audio and subtitles. This little icon here to the right is if you wanna restart the show from the beginning but you just click here to turn them on or off. And then once you make a selection, it will automatically take you back to your show and you can just click play to start it again. And it's the same method if you wanna turn your subtitles off. If you wanna fast forward or rewind, you just use these buttons here. And if you wanna go back to another show on Netflix, you can just click the back button. And if you wanna exit out of an app, you just click the home button and it'll take you back to the home screen. So that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful if you are new to using a fire stick. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. And if there are any other videos like this that you want me to make of different streaming players or apps, just let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.